All right, guys, the last little segment here of the bay window bus swing lever replacement. As you can see, I have the things attached here. The ears folded over, that way that bolt can't walk out. Uh, new grease cap on the bottom. Of course, when I was tearing mine apart, that was missing on my beam. Uh, Zerk fittings and stuff are back in. I've shot grease in it until it got stiff. I'm going to drive the bus around just a little bit to work that grease and then apply some more when I get back. Um, as you can see, this shiny bolt here, that is not the bolt in the kit. And that is because I <clears throat> did not have enough clamping pressure on the swing lever arm itself to the bottom of the center pin. Enough pressure here, it was stripping the bolt. I stripped the one that came in the kit and my dumb ass stripped the one that came uh, that was the original. Uh, I had hell finding this bolt because of the thread pitch. This is an M12 by 1.5 thread by 50 millimeter. Five places and I had to go to a specialty store about 20 minutes away from the house to get that bolt because of the thread pitch. Make sure you have enough clamping pressure on the swing lever arm to this bottom of the center pin. An issue that I actually had, I was hitting here um, I actually had to fold this up that way I could get the clamp coming in from this side so that way I could apply f pressure on the forward most position of the swing lever doing so um, that bolt slid right in before I was trying to come from this side coming this way um, and I was stripping the bolts because I wasn't cl closing that gap enough on the swing lever arm and the center pin um, drag link is connected back as well as the oops sorry the steering dampers back on, tie rod assemblies are back on. Now in the video uh, that I showed earlier, you don't have to disconnect these items back on the swing lever. I did because I just cleaned up the swing lever. Um, and those being new assemblies, they were very easy to remove and very easy to install. Uh, a lot of times you'll see the disconnection here on the top of the swing lever to the center pin and people will use bungee ties and zip ties to pull the swing lever assembly back. But that is the install. Um, I hope this little tutorial has been resourceful, been helpful. Um, this took me, uh, this took me about a four hour job to do this all uh, in total, uh, counting for uh, 40 minutes driving around trying to find a bolt. So take your time, be thorough. Look on the Samba, T Cash has a wonderful ride up as he always does and the things that he shares with the community. Check that stuff out. Tim's very clear and thorough with the write-up. Uh, this uh, video, this little blog session here is just to kind of bring uh, more of a visual aspect of it, seeing it firsthand. Uh, again, I hope this was resourceful and good luck, guys.